Want to save a huge amount of time on every video edit you ever do from now on? Then you won't want to miss this. We all know the pain of editing a two hour interview or podcast and having to manually cut out all of those redundant pauses and silences. Well, there's a tool that means you don't have to do this anymore and it's called Time Bolt. It's a massive time saver that eliminates the whole process of cutting out all that dead air for you automatically with just a few clicks. So we're gonna go through three methods you can pick and choose from to find the workflow that best fits you. Using Time Bolt entirely to cut out all of your silences and mistakes. Using Time Bolt alongside your editing software, syncing audio and video from various sources and multicam. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video as we have a discount on Time Bolt just for you. Let's dive in. Starting with method one, which is when your audio and video are recorded with the same device, this is the easiest scenario. The first thing you wanna do is open Time Bolt and head on over to settings. Make sure audio normalization, noise reduction, and volume increase are turned on, which will make it far easier to detect those silences. You'll need to restart the app for those changes to apply. Let's say your audio is recorded at low volume, you want to make sure that the filter below sounds level is set to the correct level so that it's detecting all of those silences. You can tell this by seeing that everything in green is what you're keeping in and everything in red is going to be cut out. You can increase or decrease the dB amount here to make sure that your silences are being detected properly and your actual audio is being included. We shall see this in the timeline once you hear update silence detection. For me, I found 0.3 seconds works really well for the remove silences longer than section. The thing to keep in mind here is the lower the number, the more jump cuts there'll be. For the left and right padding, I've set this to 0.15 seconds, which are the times before and after the silences. So if you want to cut very close to when your subject starts talking, you'll want to reduce this number and you want to increase it for longer pauses. I'd recommend to play back your clip in the timeline or visually see if there are sections that are green that should be silenced. Then you'll be able to increase this number till those silent sections turn red, showing you that it's cut them out. And remember to hit update silence detection each time you make any of these adjustments. You have the option to use the time bolt timeline to cut out any mistakes or takes you didn't like directly in the app. To do this, you can expand out your timeline play through and create splits and then click the green or red bar at the top to keep or remove the footage. Here's some handy shortcuts. The up and down arrow to go to the next or previous cut, the left and right arrow to go to the next or previous frame, J to play backwards, K to pause and L to fast forward, S to create splits in the timeline and O to turn off and on those sections. You'll see there's some other settings here like adding transitions and background music, but personally, I prefer to do this in the edit. So once you've done that, you have the option to render this out with all your cuts into a new video. This feature is great if you wanna save space and delete the original rushes to keep a cut down of this version, or you could even share this version with a client and get their feedback on what they'd like to use in the actual edit. Onto method two, using the editor of your choice. As we're using Adobe Premiere for this example, choose EDL, drag this into Premiere, and boom, you have all of your silences automatically cut out. This method is what I always opt for as you have complete control in the edit, and it's how I've edited every lesson in our course since discovering Time Bolt. If you're using Final Cut Pro, you'll wanna go for the FCPX XML, and DaVinci Resolve, an EDL or XML will work great. Finally, method three. What if you've recorded on separate devices or you have multiple audio and video sources like in a multicam sequence? Well, you'd go for the exact same steps we've done in method one, and instead of an XML or EDL, you click Save Timeline Cuts, which creates something called a JSON file, which we'll come back to in a minute. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is sync your content in Premiere by selecting all of your clips, right-clicking and going to Synchronize. And 90% of the time, you're gonna to wanna to sync using the audio. Especially if you have a clapperboard or just clapping your hands, you'll have no problem syncing this up. Now that your clips are synced and at the beginning of your timeline, you can go ahead and click Window, Extension, Time Bolt. You'll select one clip, apply JSON file, and you'll see it cut in before your very eyes. You'll do the same for every track on your timeline, and you've just saved hours of time, so go and treat yourself to your favorite editing snack. Mmm, something. So that's how you use Time Bolt in your workflow. 
Plot twist, I've used time bolt in every single cut and pause in this video. Did you realize? If you want to cut through your footage in a flash, then you can get 20% off using the link in the description below and using the coupon code NKCourses at the checkout. I hope you enjoy using this plugin as much as I have so you can save time and spend it on doing the things that are more important to you. If you like this content, you'll like the next video that the YouTube algorithm's chosen for you. If you want to see more post-production and freelancing tips, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment below on what you'd like covered next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.